You're watching WGN Morning News at 7. We're answering your questions about dating and relationships. PJ Osgood is here from the matchmaking service. It's just lunch. Good morning, Good morning. PJ. Good morning. So you guys have been around for a while, and you don't do internet stuff. It's all uh, it's all a hand. It's really ma old fashioned matchmaking. So you set up some people just to go to lunch, and you say that's better than going to dinner. She can get out. Right, because it's a short. <laughs> right. It's a short. Oh. 15 okay. minutes or it's like a half hour, not that five hours or four right. hours on a Friday night. Right. Excellent. Well, let's get take some questions from people. Here is uh, one viewer who writes in, I know texting is very popular right now, but is it appropriate for a guy to ask you out on a first date via text message? What are the texting rules when it comes to romance? A former co-worker asked me out via text, no phone call, so rude. I immediately called back texted back, call me, and he didn't, and a week later, he asked me out again, I said no. Well, the first thing is, I would never text him back. I mean, the biggest thing I can tell you is, you've got to leave your cell phones at home. I mean, really, it's just not the way you ask somebody out. It's almost like the coward's way, if you're interested. Mm -hmm. There's right. nothing about someone saying, hey, I'm really interested in seeing you, you know, right. let's go out to dinner. Mm -hmm. All right, here's another question. I am a recently divorced 35-year-old woman with three children trying to re-enter the dating scene. Help, what is the etiquette? Signed, Lost Without a Paddle. This is really a hard one, man. Obviously, I've set up thousands and thousands of dates, but when you're out of a relationship and you have children, you have a lot of different responsibilities. I would tell you, dating is still dating, so you've got to let your friends know that you're interested in dating. Tell them they're open to setting, you know, being set up, and make sure you say yes to any date that's out there, because obviously, it's a really way to get yourself really out there in the scene again. All right, question from Shay. How long should you be dating someone before you meet their family and friends? Well, it's not so much about a time. It's really about where you're at the relationship. So are you exclusive? Do you know that this is someone that you really feel serious about? So I would tell you it's more about feelings, not about saying, gosh, you know, once you get to that two mar mm -hmm. mark, but the feelings at the beginning are always pretty decent. Well, it's not even so much the feelings. I think it's really knowing that you're not seeing anybody else and mm. he's not seeing That's anybody true. else. If That's there's true. any, you know. Okay. Yes, Larry. All right. <laughs> Another email. This one just came in from Doug. Uh, let's see. Is there something wrong with being friends with your ex, even if your current girlfriend is not comfortable with it? We get this question all the time. There is no, there is nothing going on between us, he says. We're just friends. Right. Well, there's, it's a nice balance. First of all, you want to be respectful of the current person that you're dating, but you also want to make sure you're not in a relationship where you feel like you're being controlled. I don't think there's a problem being friends with someone that you've dated in the past. You just want to make sure that the person you're currently dating is respectful of that. All right, let's go to some tips uh, that you say people should definitely have when they're going on a first date. Don't be negative. Right. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, on the first date, it's not a time for you to talk about how you hate your job, your last boyfriend was horrible, and anything negative. You want to keep it light and fun. There's nothing that turns yeah. somebody off than something that's negative. You we say the person, we just saw the graphic, the person who, who asks you out pays. Is that the rule? Yes. Okay. Yes, and I would tell you it's very nice to always offer, but I would tell you women are still old-fashioned. I think a guy should pick it up, especially in the first date. And kissing on a first date? No. I know you want to, but you got to hold something out for the second date. <laughs> Larry, you got to hold something back, Larry. You got to hold something back. It's always such a tramp. Yeah. yeah. And tip number one, don't be negative. Again, right, right. good tip. Good tip. Stay with us. Dean Thanks. talks to uh, it's just lunch. Shirley McClain. It's just lunch. It's, it's just lunch, yep. Dot com? Okay. Thanks so much.